podcast with them boys of Atlanta. I just want to do a short video today. Uh, we've got a ZF transmission. It's probably my fourth, fifth one in, in the past month. So i just starting to see a lot of problems and issues that people are having with these things. I just kind of want to educate a little bit on some of the information that I know and some of the stuff that I found out um, as well. But come on in the shop and we'll check it out, man. Um, right now we've got a 530 E60 in, uh, basically doing a uh, trans swap on that one. But we've got a transmission out of the vehicle right here in front of us, uh, valve body, we've got the TCM, and we got this transmission. So what we're basically about to do is go over a few things. Um, just normal issues that you'll have with the transmission. We know that they leak fluid like crazy. Uh, BMW has finally changed their lifetime fluid um, requirements on their transmission, so they're no longer say that the fluid is lifetime, which I would never want to be driving around after 100,000 miles uh, with a car that's got the same fluid and it came off the production line. Just, that's me, you know. Uh, but basically what we have here, uh, so we've got a ZF6HP19 uh, transmission out of a uh, 530, um, 330, just basically everything comes in 3 series, same transmission. But I had a few problems lately with uh, transmissions having, you know, a cracked valve body, um, internal problems as far as solenoids go, or pressure control solenoids on, inside the uh, Megatronic valve body itself. Um, but never really a transmission problem. Um, problems, you know, trans is going in fail safe. Well, most of the time it's because, you know, the fluid's low, be number one, it not engaging gear, uh, whether it's going, not going in forward or reverse unless it's cold, you know, for the first minute of the car, you know, in, in running condition. Um, but basically, if fluid and a filter, because the pan is the filter, the gasket, all in one unit. Um, if normally we do a flush and fill to service transmission, even on the uh, BMW uh, software um, that we have, it instructs us to basically start with a flush and fill and do pan and filter, um, just to ensure that um, it's 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 a lot simpler than what it is. Uh, but basically. I've gotten it to a point where I get gear ratio monitoring codes, or I've gotten clutch, you know, excessive slip, or, or you know, clutch gear ratio monitoring of the clutch A through E. Um, I've had all of those codes. Now, most of the time, if it deals with the gear ratio monitoring, it's this little block right here. It normally cracks. Um, I know that the ones that come from production were a little bit different from the aftermarket, where they, you know, allowed a little bit more flow through, but if you could look at that, the gaskets are basically, the seals have basically, you know, gone away. So they're no longer sealing up as they should. I've got a few used ones sitting around here. I don't have a brand new one to show you. We just installed it. But that basically just sits literally right there in the valve body. It tightens up on there and that's basically allowing fluid to go from the valve body itself to the transmission. If this is not sealed up, the pressures will be released and then you'll have problems. Uh, most likely as soon as you hit the gas and you try to go somewhere, the transmission will go right into fail safe causing it to stay in fourth gear. Not only that, but if you have clutch ratio monitoring codes, most of the time it's due to these little sleeves right here. These are called sealing sleeves. Um, there's four of those. There's one long, two short, and then one medium. Um, they basically you know, go in just like this, and they basically sit as this one does and seals up the flow of fluid so that it's, not, it's got enough pressure on it. But basically, when those go bad, they're just worn out and they just need to be replaced. You never replace just one. Just like the solenoids, when the solenoids go bad, you never just replace one, just replace all of them. Um, you can get different kits because most of the time the parking solenoid never goes bad. But we basically have our Megatronic valve body sitting here where someone would go in there and there's a four cylinder sleeve where they are located so that the fluid goes through these holes and then goes right up into the tubes. You can't you can barely see the imprint. I can see it down here of where those are. They basically go from this hole into this sleeve, this hole into this sleeve, this hole into this sleeve, this hole into this sleeve. I know it's kind of hard to see, but and then here's where the block sits as well. So if you have those codes, what I recommend most of my customers is changing the four ceiling sleeves and the main blocks of the gasket. Um, not only that, but you want to do your main ceiling sleeve, your Megatronic valve body sleeve. And this is what goes in between, well, through the transmission from the back end 
into the transmission, as you can see, into the mechatronic valve body so that you have access so that you basically can connect this into here and lock it in place, which is your TCM to your ceiling sleeve. It spins around, you just push in, it takes a little, with new ones it just takes a little bit more pressure, but it just sits in there just like that. And these O-rings basically seal it up. And this is where most of the leaks come from after about 60,000 miles of it being on the road. And that basically will connect the harness, the wiring harness, to the transmission giving you power to your TCM. Um, other than that, um, we have our solenoids here. Normally you'd like to see a bright green versus this Ninja Turtle green. Um, these are basically shot and they have filters on them that you know can be cleaned over time, but if they haven't been cleaned, then the solenoid gets hot and they just die. Um, but you've got your park in and your gears. Um, you've got yellow ones as well. Um, just make sure you put those in the exact position they were supposed to, that they came out of, basically. But just always be easy with the mechatronic valve body because of the fact that it's very sensitive. And always align your shift, uh, your gear selector lever within the same position that it came out with. So that whenever you put it back in, you can start the car. If your harness is messed up in any type of way and it's not plugged all the way in, you'll have a no, no starting situation. And if the gear selector isn't in park because this piston isn't matched up with the TCMs, right here it won't crank the vehicle. But I just know that a lot of people have had ZF transmission issues and I just want to go over that um, real quick. I mean, most of the time, the transmission never goes back or it rarely goes back unless it's just been poor and beat up on. I mean, it would take an incredible amount of force to ruin those transmissions. But um, Lance Bongress with the Bing Boys. Uh, leave us comments, uh, subscribe to us. We've got more videos coming. Um, as you can see, we've got plenty of work and plenty to see. All right, you have a great day. Bye-bye.